So I've had the IKEA Marcus chair for a while now, and I've been extremely pleased with the comfort and the value that the chair offers. But what do you need to know about the IKEA's Marcus chair before you get one for yourself? First, let's go over the comfort of the chair. Uh, the cushions on the seat are nice and firm. The mesh on the back of the chair is also nice and firm and breathes well, so I never feel too warm. The frame is also curved slightly with a soft lumbar support cushion to help keep your posture while sitting. The IKEA chair is also very minimalistic and has a flat seat design, so it accommodates cross legs very comfortably. In a nutshell, if you like the firmer, minimalistic style chair, definitely try this one out. But if you like the softer pillow chair or want the support of a racing bucket chair, this is definitely not the chair for you. The chair is also available in both a polyester fabric or a leather material, but I personally found that the fabric was just a little bit more comfortable and it was also cheaper, so that was really a win-win choice for me. Now that brings me to the pricing of the chair, and that's probably the biggest appeal of the chair because it's really hard to find any other chair at this price point as great as this for gaming or working on the computer. But there are some compromises you get with this price point, and that's adjustable features. The armrests cannot be adjusted at all, and for me they're just way too short to support my arms while typing or using the mouse. The lumbar support and the headrest support are also non-adjustable, so in a nutshell this chair isn't designed for every body type. If you're too tall or too short, it just won't be as comfortable. A couple of the adjustable features included are an egg-shaped control to adjust the tension of the recline. One note to point out is that I've read online some people were encountering a clanking noise while reclining the chair. If you encounter this, try adjusting the tension with this control as it's helped some people fix that problem. You also have with this chair the basic recline lock and the height control. The chair also doesn't recline as low as some of the more expensive chairs out there, so also keep that in mind. So that's a really quick review of the IKEA Marcus chair, and while this chair isn't designed for everyone, since it does lack the adjustable features found in the higher end chairs, if it does fit your body type, I don't think you'll find another chair at this price point that fits the bill as that perfect office or PC gaming chair. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you haven't already checked out my other video, on the unboxing and assembly for the IKEA Marks chair, be sure to check that out for more details.